Hello. In today's video, we are going to talk about two relationship function in PBI called as related and related table. First, let us go to the Microsoft documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the syntax and the definition. It returns a related value from another table. So the syntax takes one parameter. That's the column has a reference. The column that contains the values you want to retrieve. Let's go to the other function related table. Evaluates a table expression in a context modified by the given filters. Even this takes one parameter and that's a table name. The name of an existing table using standard DAX syntax. It cannot be an expression. Return value, a table of values. Now with the help of an example, let's try to implement these two functions in PBI. Here is the PBI file. I have two tables. Before we start to build the queries, let's have a look into this table. What is it? What is inside this table? I have two tables here, table quantity and the table cost. So as you can see here, I have a relationship between these two tables. So using a product name, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. So let me go to the properties. As you can see here, table quantity. In table quantity, I have product name, units, and supplier type. And table cost, I have the product name and cost per unit. So as you can see here, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. The product name in this column is unique. Similarly, the product name in the table cost is unique. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship. So now if I look into this data here, so you can see here, uh, let's look at the table quantity. So this is a table here, product name. You can see all the units are, all the uh, names are unique, starting from A to F and the units and the supplier type, whether it's a local or international. Similarly, let's do the same thing for cost. I have the product name where the values are unique and the cost per unit. So with this information, let's see how we can use uh, uh, related function and related table function. So let's say I'm in table quantity here, or let's say I, I, let's let's say I have the cost per unit. I now I want to create one more column here and then calculate the total cost. Okay, so using the quantity here from this table, I need to calculate, I need to create a one new column, let's say total cost, how do I do that? So we know cost per unit times the units, right? If, if you multiply units with the cost per unit, we get the total cost. So now let's try to do that here. total cost equal to, so the first thing will be cost per unit. I cannot directly multiply with units here. So if I try to get the units, the total units, I'm not getting it. This is a cost per unit. So I cannot uh, do a direct multiplication because it's in a separate table. So what I can do is use the related table function, a related function. So since it's a one-to-one -one relationship, I can use the related function. And then you can see it gives me the solution which column I need to use. So since I, I have the cost per unit times the units, right? So I need to use the units. So if I hit enter, I should be able to get the results. You can see cost per unit for product F is 600. And let's see how much units was used. 30, 60 into 30, 60 times 30, I get 18,000. 18, so that's what I'm seeing here. So the related function works as expected. Now let's say, uh, this is a one-to-one -one relationship, but now let's say I have uh, one-to-many relationship. Let's say the quantity here, right? So I'm using this quantity in the related function. Now I have only unique values. Let's say the product F, right? 
is repeated twice let's say one for international and let's say i'll add one more pro, uh, entry here one more row here with uh, product name f and let's say units 10 and supplier will be local so now uh, what what happens to my relationship it will become one to many relationship because i am uh, repeating the product name twice for uh, uh, row f so then my join condition i need to change my join condition first because it becomes a one to many relationship so what i i'll do here so let me change this to one to many relationship and then add i create one more new row for the column product name so quantity and the cost right so i'm i'm going to add one new line for uh, quantity there is product name f i'll be adding new thing so this will become many to one okay so now let me go to my excel and then change it okay so i just did the change in the back end so now let me refresh my file so now if i refresh my file uh, you see this particular the cost table it's throwing an error because i changed the relationship to many to one so now i added one more entry in my excel file and so that i can go ahead and refresh the data so you should be able to see one more record now in this table the quantity table you can see i added one more new record here that's F and I named it as uh, the total units 10 and the supplier type local. And that's the main reason I changed my relationship to many to one. So now what I'm gonna do here is, since it's throwing an error because when I have a many to one relationship, this particular related function will not work. So I'll change this to related table and then I will use a sum x function so how, how do I do that so before writing the related table I need to use sum x and then I'll give the table reference here is uh, the total table unit sorry the table uh, quantity so i'll use a related table function and then use the table quantity because this is the table where i have multiple entries for product name and then expression is the units so i'll have i need to sum up the units from the quantity table and now hit enter you can see now it has changed so basically if i go back to my quantity table i have total 30 plus 40 units okay so basically my sum x function what it does it will combine and group it into one single entry so 30 plus 10 will become 40 so it's already summed up together and then once i have the result here that is 40 then i am multiplying it with this cost per unit 600 times 40 gives me 24,000. This is how the related and related table function works. One thing you need to remember, you can use related function if you have one-to-one -one relationship. Just like if you are trying to do a VLOOKUP in an Excel, if you have one entry for each, it, it gives you a right result. But in, in Excel, if you are trying to do a VLOOKUP and if you have many multiple entries for the same values you are looking for, it picks up the first value but in pbi if you are using the related table function uh, it throws an error and that's the reason you need to use a related table function especially when you are dealing with one to many relationship so this is how this is the main difference between related and related table function in pbi hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching have a great day